The Alfa Romeo Tonale was one of the most anticipated new cars to arrive in Ireland in 2023. It's been a while since we've heard from Alfa Romeo, so this really is their comeback kit, and what a car it is. Now it goes on sale price from about €50,000, so that puts it up against the likes of the BMW X1, the Mercedes-Benz GLA, the Volvo XC40 and also the Audi Q3. Now there's two engine options, there's a 1.5 litre mild hybrid and also a more powerful plug-in hybrid. So in this video I'm going to take a closer look to see what this new Tonale has to offer. Well, first of all, it's just gorgeous to look at. It adds some much needed Italian design flair to that compact premium SUV segment. It's unmistakable as anything other than an Alfa Romeo. It's got a very charismatic V-shaped Alfa grille, just like the Stelvio and also the Giulia and lots of iconic Alphas from the past and also these very expressive headlights as well. There's two different trim levels, TI and Veloci. This is the mild hybrid petrol in the Veloci trim and it retails from about 53 and a half thousand euro. Now the wheels deserve a special mention. They all get a telephone dial style wheel which is an Alpha classic. It's reminiscent of some great Alphas in the past like the 147 and the 156. Those are ones that really stand out for me from when I was growing up and I loved cars. If you get go for the TI you get 18 inch and if you go for the Veloci you get 19 inch with these gorgeous red brake calipers. The mild hybrid is actually the best for boot space. You get that power tailgate as standard across the range. There's 500 litres, not the biggest boot in the class, but it's still really big. And it's more than in the plug-in hybrid, which is about 385. So that's worth noting. You get this nice flat sill and that can also be moved down as well to create more space. There's plenty of space back here for a compact SUV as well. I've got plenty of legroom there. That's in my driving position. Enough headroom as well, and probably children are more likely to be sitting back here anyway. There is seating for three. That middle seat's not too bad, and you also have a flat place here for the middle seat passenger to put their feet as well, so there's no competition on either foot. Well, you've got amenities like vents, there's also a USB C and a USB A port. We've got very nice armrest with cup holders, and of course, a hatch that opens through to the boot. So what's it like to drive? Well, really very good, I have to say. I love driving this Tonale. It's got this very sporty, driver-focused character. It's a real kind of point and shoot at corners driving experience. It's so tight, it's so sharp, very impressive. So if you like driving, you'll like driving the Tonale. And there's a few things that contribute to that sporty character. First of all, it's got a sophisticated suspension that was co-developed with Marelli, which is a historic technical partner of Alfa Romeo and if you go for the Veloci model there's also adaptive dampers so you can switch between a comfort and a firmer sports setting as well but it never gets too firm or uncomfortable for Irish roads so it's all good and you've got lots of grip and poise as well from behind the wheel then there's also a self-locking differential and that improves the cornering grip, it, it improves traction on slippery surfaces and it also reduces understeer. So that contributes to being able to get a really nice tight, tidy line through corners, lots of stability as well. Then of course there's also the DNA driving mode selector which is a classic bit of alpha kit really. And you've got D for dynamic, N for natural, and A for advanced efficiency. I have to say the dynamic mode is by far my favourite. It adds weight to the steering because the steering is quite light in the N setting. So for any kind of really enjoyable driving, I think I'm straight to the dynamic mode. It's brilliant. And everything feels sharper and more responsive as well. So I really like that. The Advanced efficiency mode, it just dulls everything, all the responses. So if you're just cruising on the motorway, you might pop it into that mode. But really nice to drive. 
it's comfortable for the most part as well the thing i don't like so much is it's quite noisy here in the cabin just the amount of road noise that gets in so that's i suppose a less than premium aspect of the car cabin feels very stylish and very driver focused so you see that alpha dna in here the quality is also good generally though there are harder plastics here at the top of the doors and the dashboard but you get this nice soft touch material here and of course these lovely seats they're alcantara and leather effect as well with the embossed logo in the headrest so they really add to the atmosphere this is a veloci model so it gets these gigantic paddle shifters really like those and aluminium pedals as well you've got this gorgeous steering wheel it's got the start button on it which is a nice sporty touch as well in terms of digital tech you've got a full digital driver display it's got a number of views that you can switch between and it's also got a heritage view which is kind of like a retro font which is very nice and of course this 10.25 inch touchscreen now it's not quite as slick to use as something like in a bmw x1 or mercedes-benz GLA but it has all the functionality that you need really you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well there's a wireless smartphone charger there's a reversing camera now the only things that are kind of missing I think are a heated steering wheel heated front seats and also power adjustment that's available as part of a pack but for a 50,000 euro car I'd like to see those standard for a luxury car but th those are really the only things that I feel are maybe missing from the spec otherwise very sporty driver focused all the things that you really expect from an Alfa Romeo when it comes to engine options you've got choice between a 1.5 litre petrol mild hybrid with 160 horsepower it's front wheel drive and then there's the more powerful plug-in hybrid and that's got 280 horsepower and all-wheel drive but i do like this 1.5 petrol mild hybrid i have to say i like the relative simplicity of it it doesn't feel as powerful as the plug-in hybrid 0 to 100 is about 8.8 .8 seconds but there's still plenty of power there I think for most people and it's still good fun to drive because you've got all that lovely handling as well you have the paddles here on the Veloci models you don't need to use those as much as you do in the plug-in hybrid because it's not as reluctant to change gear which is great it just doesn't it doesn't hang on to the gears like the way it does in the plug-in hybrid which is actually quite nice as well there's also no caveats to it you don't have to plug it in to get the best efficiency from it or the best refinement it can be a little bit lumpy when it's cold when you start it up but that soon smooths out and it resolves itself and then it's very smooth and refined and there's plenty of power there when you need it as well and when it comes to efficiency alpha say about six liters per 100 kilometers I've been getting about 6.4 litres per 100 kilometres or about 44 miles per gallon so I think that's reasonable as well and I've been driving it in the dynamic mode quite a bit so that's just a quick look at the Alfa Romeo Tonale mild hybrid I have to say really like this version of the Tonale I think it's a good buy and you can read more about what I think about this car over on changinglanes.ie. I left a link in the description below the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.